Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, didn't see you come in there. Never mind me. I was just breaking a sweat. And now you can too. My name's Evan, and I've designed this program specifically for people who are really fat and are just too lazy to actually exercise and try and lose the weight and get into good health. Which is why I bring this to you. Evan Fit. All the right. pelvic thrust. What you want to do now is you want to line your hands like you're holding, like you're flying a helicopter or something, or you're driving a car. You want to pull your feet shoulder width apart. You want to kind of bend your knees a little and close your fists. Go like this. Okay. I want to go to a kind of an angle. And pelvic thrust. Pelvic thrust. Pelvic thrust. Pelvic thrust. Now, this is supposed to help out your arms and your thighs and part of your hips. Now, this is a really important exercise specifically for women with, you know, big badonkadonks. Pelvic thrust, 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 pelvic thrust! The hip rotation. Now, what you want to do here is take your hands, put them out here, and put them, you know, length span, and you just want to fold them over your head. Do this. You got this? All right. And now, you want to go ahead and hip rotation, hip rotation, hip rotation, other way hip rotation, hip rotation, hip rotation, other way hip rotation, other way hip rotation. Now, you can be doing this for as long as you want. It really, you know, flexes out your mu bones and your muscles, and it helps out with your thighs and your calves. You'll be surprised what, what great things this one exercise can do. The nippler. All right. For this one, this is for just about anybody. Even your kids at home can do it. All right. So you want to take your arms, put it out to here again. You want to go ahead and do this. Fold them in. Make sure you get about your your two main fingers. Put them over your nipples and just go nippler. Do the nippler. Do the nippler. Do the nippler. Now for here, you're just gonna think. Oh, this is just some weird guy doing a bunch of, you know, like weird crazy stuff. But I'm not crazy. I swear I'm not crazy. But still, you can just go ahead and you got your, you got your elbows moving, you got your shoulders, and you're also flexing out your hands. And it's just a, it's a great exercise, and I'm sure you'll all love it. Squat thrust. Squat thrust. You want to put your hands on your thighs. It's pretty simple. Right about where your pockets are. Just go ahead and. Get that out of the way. Hands on your thighs. You're going to put your buttocks out. You're going to put out your buttocks. And just going to go ahead and squat thrust. Squat thrust. Squat thrust. Squat thrust. And notice how I'm spreading my legs apart as I'm going down. You want to go ahead and make sure your your feet are pointing outwards at about, uh, what is that, like an 85 degree angle. It's, this really is a very good one. You do this for about 10 minutes a day, you're going to definitely see some improvement. Booty shaking. Booty shaking. Quite an embarrassing term for such a simple exercise. But this one definitely gets you working. What you want to do is you can either go the classic way, you know, like Hannah Montana. Or you can go the other way where you go like this. Booty shaking, booty shaking. It's all, you know, normal stuff like that, but you really just want to go booty shaking, booty shaking, booty shaking. Can you see can you see that like a song by Hannah Montana even though she retired? She'd be like this. Booty shaking, booty shaking out on the ground. But she'd be like that anyways. So you do this exercise for about five to ten minutes. Uh, you know. You'll definitely get some improvement. Oh snap. Now I'm sure most of you teenage girls are going to end up doing this one day or another. <sighs> you come home one day and your mom's like, Oh no, you can't tell what you want for dinner. I'm making pot roast. Instead, you go to her and you say, Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Now this can get really annoying if you, you know, Keep watching that over and over, but you know who won't. But like, it's so it's such a powerful thing because your elbow and your shoulders and your arm is just 
a good exercise. You can do it like this. You can just go all snap, all snap, all snap, all snap. And this can also be formed into the Z formation. The Z formation. The Z formation. One of the most popular of the all snaps. You go ahead and take your snapping hand. I prefer my right. Now, if you do this, that's a Z formation. You can't go like this because that's a backwards Z. It's just I mean, I'm sure for all of you watching, this will be a Z. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, here we go. Z formation, 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 Z formation. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Like our next exercise. <coughs> Nom, nom, nom.